Ladies and gentlemen, in today's investigation, we will show you the moment that Mike Possel had decided to go to the dark side. He decided to become a professional crotch starer, and he decided to put his phone under the table to gain extra information and become one of the biggest winning players in the history of the 1-3 and 5-5 game at Stones Live Casino. That's right, Mike Possel has been accused of cheating by a former employee of Stones Live named Veronica. We have took many, many investigations this week. We spent over 60 hours watching every single hand Mike Postles played, including him stare at his fucking crotch an infinite number of times and put his hands on his head in a dramatic fashion like he's a professional actor in Home Alone 58 in 2087. We've, uh, we've been streaming about over 28 hours these past six nights in a row. I've gotten thousands of messages from people with information, just more different things they wanted to share with me. I've read through 5,000 posts on 2 Plus 2. I've dedicated my last week of my entire life to this and gone through as many hands as I could to find abnormalities in his play patterns, find crazy things out there. The community has come together. I've tried to compile the most relevant information for people out there on my live streams. If you're watching this in 2027, shout out to you for making it this far to number seven. And now it looks like we have evidence of Mike Postle. The first time he decided to become an official cheater on the Stones live live stream. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over the video that was made on YouTube by a God-like investor investigator named Gumpenstein who plays video games but what is a professional poker player for a long time but this guy couldn't take it anymore he put this together we're also going to go over this uh, amazing screenshot spreadsheet here you can see right here it shows the first time Mike Postle decided to put the god mode on and you can see his results before that he played sporadically up until July 18 2018 he played only a handful of times. And then after that, he decided, you know what? It's easier when I can see the cards. I'm going to play multiple times a week. And I'm going to make hundreds of thousands of fucking dollars on Stone's live stream because I can see the cards and I'm a god. All right? So we're going to go through this spreadsheet. There's also a new results that lead us to believe that Mike Posso reportedly up $253,000 before is actually up little over $300,000. And of course, this could be wrong, but we have $330,000, 77 winning sessions, 87 sessions total. Have it broken down by seat and have the, the, the infamous July 2018 session broken down. We're going to go over that. But first, I want to say thank you to everybody out there for watching these streams, watching these videos. We had uh, 50, 60,000 people watch these last couple streams where we broke down the interviews that Mike Matisau did with Mike Poss. I feel like I'm moving my hand a lot right now, but I don't know what else to do with it, guys, okay? I've been up all damn night. I've been working on this. I've been dedicating my entire time to this, man. And uh, big shout out to everybody out there, man. Much love. I'm glad people are enjoying it. I know I'm not necessarily for everybody when it comes to this, but I'm fired up. I'm passionate about this. I can't believe this kind of thing's going down. This is just fucking crazy. And, uh, but I do want to say thank you, everybody out there. Uh, I want you guys in the uh, below to thank my girlfriend because without her, this wouldn't be possible for me to do because she's been bringing me veggies, fruit, uh, fruit, vegetables, uh, water, food, keeping me sane, making me take breaks, all that kind of good jazz as well too. So without her, this wouldn't be possible. If you listen to the streams, you know, I shout her out. And also I want you guys to let me know, should I do a live stream tomorrow or should I do another video like this tomorrow? Cause I'm ready to get back to the live streams. I miss you motherfuckers out there. And also I'm having Veronica on my podcast, 6 p.m. Pacific time on, uh, on Wednesday night. And also people have been asking me about donations. They want to donate to uh, a fund for me, which first of all, I, I never really asked for anything like that in my entire streaming career. I hate asking people for anything, to be honest with you. I'm a shitty businessman because of that. People have been donating on YouTube a little bit, but I found out the super chat takes 30%. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. Maybe I'll put out some merch or something like that for people if they wanna support me. Uh, greatly appreciate it, but just something I, I feel uncomfortable with. It's a little bit weird to me, but yeah, kind of move on from there. So let's kind of get into this video. So this video was done by, like I said, by Gumpenstein. He watched all of the sessions played by Mike Postle and leading up to this point in time, and he found the smoking gun where the posture changes, the mannerisms change, the phone is different. He starts staring at his goddamn crush. He starts laughing nonstop. He starts acting all fucking weird at the table like a completely new person. So we're going to go over here exactly the moment in time. And I'm going to let him kind of take over here because he puts this quite beautifully. And I want you guys to be able to hear what he's got to say. 
you can make up stuff about being drunk. You can say that you grabbed your crotch because you got some medical issues. You can tell me you're drunk and you jammed into this four bet. You can explain how great of a poker player you are. You're the most winningest player in history. You can do none of that matters. None of that matters when it comes to what changed on July the 18th this, at guys. two this hours. This is the moment, Mike Possel. So before this, we're going to show hands later in here. Mike Possel, the session before this, he got bluffed a few times. A few times he made some bad plays, which we're going to go over. And I think he decided, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going down to the dark side here. Why did a player who's never taken his phone off the table in six months Start putting his phone in his lap. Watch this. Watch the crotch the grab. Year and a here half. it is. This is an infamous moment. Watch this. Watch what happens here. Watch for the crotch grab. That's the question. The crotch there. That you can't say you got drunk. You can't say here that it goes. you just There it is. It. Right there. An infamous moment in hip poker history. Mike Possel decides he is going to put his phone in a, the most weirdest position we've ever seen in our life. Sometimes put it on our lap. He literally puts it on his damn crotch, like making contact with the crotch area. And this would become the home for his telephone for the next about year. <laughs> Let's check it out again. Watch this. Watch. He's going to move the phone down and officially will place it right by his nutsack. You can't say you got drunk. You can't say that you just there did. There it is. You Slides can't say in. blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So he's testing it. Look, he's like, can I see? Can I see? Can I? And then he patents the system over time. Look at this fucking guy. Here it is, guys. 2018, July 8th, two hours and one minute in. Mike Possel decides he will stare at his crotch for the foreseeable future in order to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Like... There's not a really good explanation. I don't know how you explain it. You might even say something like, well, I was, thought I was giving off tales and I was trying to change the way I was looked. I and love this, this guy. Or whatever. But you did this for six months and never budged an inch difference of how you play. That was only six sessions over that six months. But wouldn't we seen a progression of you working on changing something about your physical demeanor at the table and stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, where's all the laughing, joking, ha, 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 grab my head, look at my lap, put my hand in my lap. Like, you didn't have that medical condition in, before July of 2018 or whatever it was you were talking about in the podcast. Like, I don't get that, right? Like, I don't think anyone's going to get that. Guys, we got to give a big shout out to my man right here. This guy did did, a, did God's work, Gumpenstein right here. Make sure you go like this video, subscribe to his channel, man. Go support this guy. Even though he plays video games, he's still obviously great work. He's got a great voice, putting a lot of effort here. So, so big shout out to him. So let's kind of play a little bit more of the video here later on. Here we can see Ron some later Ron hands from Mike Posso when he turns into a god. Ball. Mike Posso, the reverse blocker king. Uh, Mike Posso, the man who doesn't need an actual hand. So he's going to take the 10-7 here, of course. I believe he, uh, extra fishy because I... they're like, this guy's going to check raise bluffing point to take from that. I just don't know how. So this is a three bet pot. But holy shit. Three. And Mike, six. Mike Possel decides the he's going to go three said, streaks and, and, and turn this fucking 10, seven into a bluff because he's a God of poker. And when I say God at poker, I mean, he can see the cards guys. All right. We've disproven he's a God at poker theory. So he sees the cards here. He goes, he goes a couple streets. He bets flop, gets two callers. Then on the turn, this motherfucker is going to bet again, and he's going to take it down. And then this is a pot spot earlier. This is, a, this is some proof Mike Postel posted on Twitter. This was from earlier, the first session in January. You can see Mike Postel, right? He doesn't, he's not playing with himself, this one. He's sitting differently, the different hat on, different demeanor. The, the, the phone's on the table. And Mike Possel is going to make an incorrect fold here when he actually has the best hand when this guy has the 3-4 here when he check raises. Shout out to my man, Arthur. And then Possel on the turn has the best hand, but he's not quite playing in, in, uh, in his god mode yet. You can see hands crossed, right? Very different man. And uh, he's going to make an incorrect fold here. Just That's a normal player. That's normal Possel, right? This is the third session right here. 
against my man David O. Wait, David o so David O flopped the flush. True. Oh, I guess we'll we check all in. And then Mike jams all in on the turn for $155 more. Obviously, we know Super using God Mode Possel has not made a mistake like that in any of the God Mode sessions that we've watched okay. on stream. Here's another one, session three. I don't see Mike. Here's Mike gonna make a fishy play. He makes a call, the guy's got top set, and Mike's gonna get fucking owned here. You wanna know why? This is how regular players play, Mike, okay? Now, if this is the first video you've watched and you're wondering where this animosity or this, this ferocity comes from, it's because I've been watching this damn guy fleece people left and right for over 60 hours on the stream. I listened to his interview, the bunch of bullshit he told Mike Mattis out about fucking blood clots and being the biggest winner in Ultimate Bet back in 2005 for fucking two hours, all right? So this guy's got me a little fired up and I can't believe the guy's still denying what exactly has taken place here. So this is before God mode. Look, Mike Possel making a terrible fucking play like somebody who plays 6-3 suited is going to play, all right? This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna make some bad decisions, get in some bad spots. So Mike calls the turn because he thinks he has a flush draw when he actually doesn't. And now my man AC is gonna own the shit out of him by checking the river. And then Mike is gonna decide Hey, look, you see, the, you see the legs open here. The legs pointing to the side. Keys on the table. The phone right there. Now Mike's going to do that little dance. Like he's going to count around. And this is what normally happens, right? This is what normally happens. He gets snap fucking called by top set. He gets owned. Okay? This is how it should go. When you play like this, you should get owned sometimes. You shouldn't just own everybody every single time like Mike Possel seems to think is possible. You shouldn't win every single time that you play. Here you go. Here's another one. Here's another fucking hand Mike Possel's playing. You can see the whistleblower Veronica right there. So Ben is going to 3-bet here to ace-queen. Shout out to Ben Jackson right here. My man Frank, my man Frank, this dude is a fucking stallion right here, man. Look at this nice shirt. If you guys have watched the live streams, you know that Frank has some of the best textured shirts of all time. Right here, he's rocking like a, I mean, that is like an amazing shirt. He's rocking like a gray up to a black area, man. While he's, while he's macking on, look at this fucking guy. Look at him. Look what he's doing. Look at this. Look at this. My man Frank is just, this dude is a Mac daddy, man. Look at this guy. You can learn a lot. Frank, watch, he's gonna get the head in there. Watch, he gets the head in there. Watch us, watch, he's gonna slide it down. Gets the kiss. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, I don't know what, I literally don't know what's happening. Let's move on. These are the things we found in the stream, guys. Listen, it's been a long time, okay? I've been watching this. I'm losing my mind a little bit, okay? Bear with me here. Bear with me. So, Ben, three bets here. There's actually three midgets shitting in a bucket right in the middle of the casino lobby. And, like, you're gonna get stories. This commentary is always fucking really strange, so. And our lives are very. So, Possel yeah, really has Queen Jack here. Like lasso around because he's <laughs> Obviously, phone around not on the table like anymore, so he's probably going to play a little bit different of a style. Now he's going to fake cry. Him, uh, Mike so it gets checked through, and then on the turn, Absolutely correct. At least I have, uh, Ben's going to go for the delayed like, continuation wow, bet. He's going to bet 325. My man Frank's going to call, yeah. and then fucking the top player in the world, the AKA. Well, I mean, he called himself so the best player. He's going to take the queen jack and just decide to fucking bump it up here to 1.3k because he's a god. I'm done here. And by god, I mean he can see the cards. So he bumps it up to 1.3k just again. Once again, this is post that July 18th mark, the 201 mark, where officially the god mode become activated. And then this is the final session. This is the session that I think set Mike Possel over the edge when he decided, you know what, I can't. I don't know if I can beat these guys fair and square, okay? I think I can, but I'd like to make 15 times the amount of money and have one of the biggest win rates in the history of this stake that ever existed on the planet. So this is, I feel like these are some of the hands that might, look, so here, this is the session before. Look, we are not weird demeanor. He's got the fucking phone right there, the cool shades on. He's not wearing a button up shirt with two pockets. He's not wearing a big ass jacket to maybe hide something in, okay? So here we see it. David has the one-two. I, I think David would own the shit out of this guy if Apostle couldn't see the fucking cards every time. So David three bets, 10-5. Uh, very GTO three bet by him. I ran through the solver. The solver likes it. We don't need to necessarily go over that. Apostle check calls with the top pair, which is what happens when you play a wide range and you play terrible fucking hands like queen seven suited in three bet pots. You're going to get owned, okay? 
your pre-flop construction range is very poor. You're going to lose. This is not what winning players do. Mike Possel is trying to let us think that's what winning players do. No, that's not how the game works. I don't care if the players are the worst fucking players of all time. You're going to get owned a lot of times because you're going to be with very marginal hands pre-flop. You're going to have marginal ranges on the flop and on the turn. And you're going to be putting a lot of money in on turns and rivers with marginal freaking hands. Mike, this isn't how the game works. All right? So Mike decides he's going to check call here with his fucking cool table talking skills that he seems to think this is why he's able to fucking get these sick reads off people because he's got this awesome table talk ability. So now, once again, he's going to check. He's going to check call instantly and he's going to make a wrong decision because this is how it works when you play terrible fucking hands preflop and get to the river is you're going to lose, okay? This is how it goes. And I believe these are the moments right here that Mike Possel decided to go to the dark side and become an official st crotch stare full time. All right. One more hand goes down. Here it is. Mike Possel, the fucking God himself. Right? The God of poker. He ends up on the turn with the 10 nine of clubs around the flop with the 10 nine of clubs. This guy bets 60. Mike Possel decides, I'm going to raise it up with one of the patented Possel plays that we saw We saw a year from now. They always worked out really well, right? <laughs> well, not going to work out so well when the guy's got bottom freaking set, buddy, okay? So now Porter, he's going to call. These graphics are awful. Listen, I don't know who does the graphics on this show. But we've had issues with the cards, RFID, everything like that. I don't know what's happening here. So Mike floats the flop and then decides to raise the turn when Porter the does the little what down bet. The and then that? Porter three bets him. And now, all of a sudden, the god becomes immortal. And he's not going to do one of his crazy fucking all-in plays with nothing. Oh, okay? And he's got to fold. This is what yeah, happens. This is how players play that play like Mike Possel. They make mistakes like this all the time. So what changes between this session and two hours and one minute into July 18th when he puts the phone in the crotch. Because I want to distinguish between like what I think you should be looking at. And it's all about whether his phone's on the table or not, when that was. We all know that all of the hands where he's not, his phone's not on the table is after July the 18th. But if somebody tries to use this kind of situation, look at this hand. Look at what he's doing. That's what's important. Watch this, guys. This hand is ridiculous. So Crotch Man here, we're calling him Crotch Man for now on. Crotch Man is going to look down with the Jack-10 and call a three bet. Once again, a terrible hand in a three bet pot. You're going to lose money with these hands. What's Crotch Man going to do here? To use this kind of situation. Look at this hand. Look at him. He looks down in the fucking crotch. Look at this fucking guy. You get an earache after you call pre up and you stare down in your crotch? I feel like I'm extra fired up today, but... I've been thinking about this all night, man. Like, this is bullshit. This went on for so fucking long. It's insane. It's insane. Look at what he's doing. That's what's important. What he does after this, if you just know that that, that right there is the cheating sign. That is when he's cheating. Right there it is. It's in front of us. Why does he call this $20 bet against three nines? It's a $20 bet. That's why. It's a $20 bet against top set with the back door straight draw he turns top pair look at and this. he mucks the damn this thing cheating motherfucker look at this he turns top pair and then he mucks but why did he call because he wanted to turn a straight against this guy 20 bucks to see that turn card a thousand some dollars behind easily easily that is exactly what happened here gives him the little old laugh that you get did that laugh he only just knows live reads Live reads, psychological reads, live reads. He just knows, guys. This guy just knows. Look at him. Laughs at you in your fucking face. This motherfucking guy. Pretty much exists. Like, here. This all oh, my God. You got top set. <laughs> Actions and hands on the head. And I can't believe what you had. This is DOJ is going to lock this guy up. Check this hand out, man. I love the guy that made this video. I love this fucking kid. I'm pretending. 16, 16 years as a professional. He's probably not a kid. He's probably a little older. Watch Here's this another hand. hand. 
Watch El Paso gets so disappointed here because he can't go down. It's when he hasn't perfected his cheating system yet, so he can't look down in his lap here. I mean, this is like a, this is like a, a I mean, whatever. This is the same kind of situation. In this hand, he never looked down, but watch him start trying to look. <laughs> he starts trying to look, but the action's on him on this hand. He tries to look down. He can't see it. <laughs> watch. He's going to try to look again. He's going to try to look one more time before he mucks it. He wants to look so bad. He's like, I got, I got, how can I fold? Like, I need to be able to see this right now. I can't see it. He throws his hand away. Watch what he does. Backs the whole fucking chair up, bends over, and when he sees that he folded the best hand, look at him. Look how it bothered him. Watch, it, watch him rub his cheek right here. Look, he didn't know. He couldn't. He didn't look at the cards. He doesn't. He wasn't looking at them every hand. One of the biggest fucking hustles caught on tape in poker history right now. This guy right here. Mike Possel, a man they made meme after meme after meme about as Jesus Christ proved to be immortal, proved to be good at staring at his crotch. Mike Possel, a.k.a. Crotch Man. Unbelievable. Lies to me in a number of different messages. We, we, we speak back and forth. Tells me this isn't true. He didn't do it. Two-hour interview, Mike Mattisau says he didn't do it. Makes me spend 60 hours watching every hand he played. And like right here, it's, it's when he looks. It's, it's about when he looks. He folds a chop pot right here. This is after the 201 mark. Phones off the table. <laughs> this guy, I mean, this is hilarious. How do you explain him folding a chop? Well, then look at when he looks at his cards. He, he, when I say looks at his cards, I mean the fucking cards in his lap, not the cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did there. He tried to look. He couldn't see. Obviously, he looked twice and then mucked. And then after the hand was mucked, backed the chair up, took a look, pulls his hat down, turns his head sideways, and rubs his face. And he knows at that moment. Fuck. I wish I could have seen that one. I, w I wish I'd have seen that one because, boy, I'd have jammed it on him right here. I'd have jammed it into all three of them right here, and I'd have looked like a genius, right? Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm trying to point out is the table, his body language, looking down into his lap, all that stuff starts Watch it. on July the 18th at the 201 mark. Watch it. And from that moment on, all you got to do is look at when he looks down. Look at the moment. This is the moment a man... A man decides he will play with real-time access to the cards. This is it. And w at what point in the hand does he look down? This is and the moment. every time it lines up with a decision that he makes or a reaction that he gets. Every single time. And so, you know, do what y'all will with it. Have a, nice, have a nice day and good luck, everyone. Take it easy. This is the moment. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. So, yeah, guys, that's, that, that's it. That's what our investigations uncovered out there. This is what's led to day seven. The spreadsheet right here, you can see no God mode. And then after that, win, 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 win. Three times a week he's playing. He's played how many times in August? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in August. Previously before that, three times in July, one time in June. Well, he started in July 18th, so that makes sense. So a couple times in January, a couple times in February. Then he starts playing all the damn time. September, one, two, three, four, five, six. October, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at this guy. Pillaging. Not a losing session in sight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven winning sessions. One losing session, three massive sessions, one PLO losing session because you're not good at PLO, Mike. And if we ever play heads up, which we're probably not going to, but if we ever do, I'm going to fucking work your ass. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 winning sessions for this fucking guy. Look at this shit. This is fucking unreal. Look at this graph.
Look at this. Look at these stakes. This is unreal. Unreal. Unfucking real. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that fucking like button. Let me know if you want to live stream tomorrow or a video tomorrow. Pro Veronica podcast is going to be on Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Might do a live stream in the day. Thursday, Jean Robert Balland podcast as well. Stay tuned for any updates that come through the case. will be on my Twitter page at JoinGrim1 or right here on the video. Much love, everybody. Take care. Peace out.